There are three main Pipeliner enhancements, all part of Pipeliner's new exciting chronology release that we are going to cover in this video. First are reports. So let's create a new report. In this pop-up, you name your report and choose whether it's going to be a standard, pivot, or advanced table. A standard report is just a listing of chosen records with their fields. A pivoted report enables you to extract meaning from your data, like which sales rep has the highest value in open opportunities. And lastly, an advanced report enables you to combine data from multiple records into one report. Let's look at that. I name my report, choose opportunities as main entity type, and select my pipeline. Okay, here I can remove or add the opportunity fields that interest me for this report, so I will just remove some to tidy things a bit. Now, let's add a standard subtable with accounts. Again, I will remove some fields. And lastly, let's add a table with activities. Remove unwanted fields. And now we can hit save and close. Here, we have our main opportunity table. Under it are accounts associated with it, along with associated activities. This way you achieve an excellent overview of what has happened with this opportunity. To change this setup, click Report Settings and then Open Report Builder. You can also filter your tables to show only relevant records. For instance, I can select opportunities and filter only those that were lost and see how many and what types of activities they contained. You'll be able to tell if this wasn't a case of their failure. You can also turn any standard report into an advanced report by hitting Report Settings, and then simply converting it to an advanced one. Small note, reports are now an online-only feature and aren't available in offline mode. Next are activities. You can visually separate the activities form into two parts. The left side is dedicated to task details, and the right side is dedicated to management and collaboration tools. You fill in the basic information such as activity type, subject, description, and so on. Now, here you see that a due date for tomorrow is already pre-filled. To set this default, go to User Settings and then Preferences. Here you can set up defaults such as due dates and reminders for your appointments and tasks, including the mentioned task default due date. Back to the task, you will see the Sales Unit field. This means that the manager of this unit will be able to see this task, no matter if they are listed as an actual watcher. You can then link multiple items that this activity will be associated with. And lastly, attach documents to this task. You can upload your file using the cloud service of choice, or simply drag and drop your documents to Pipeliner. The right side is then dedicated to reminders, ownership, and sharing settings. If you are creating appointments, there will also be an attendees element. You can add people outside of Pipeliner, such as contacts from your linked items but also Pipeliner users. For example, we have linked this opportunity. Now, Pipeliner will suggest as attendees all contacts that are linked to that opportunity, and also its owner. You can only add attendees for which you have email addresses, because they will be notified about the appointment via email. This way, they will know about appointments planned in Pipeliner, even when they are not in the system as users. You also have the Comments tab, from which you can write messages or notes for managers or colleagues. Now, on to opportunities. You can place labels on your opportunities or leads. Mark them with focus. The signal to reps that they need to focus primarily on these opportunities. As hot, work on these because the buyer is very active. Or stalled for opportunities that are stuck due to some circumstances on buyer's side. This way, you can visually separate the importances from the clutter. You can group and name your opportunities based on various input fields. And under the Power Panel View settings, you can see all useful information at once. Reveal or hide ranking, value, velocity, and labels of opportunities. So, you can at a glance prioritize your next steps with each, having full oversight of your pipeline. You can also export your lost leads or opportunities from the archive as CSV or Excel workbook files for further loss analysis. And lastly, you can now easily sync Pipeliner with the Microsoft Suite for faster contact, activity, and document management. Click here to get your own Pipeliner CRM, or click on one of these to learn more.